What's up guys, I'm Des Infinox Gaming and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be making a build by using the Malkarion Aether Strikers. And this time, I'm using the Thunder Deep Drush Bond, so I'm going to deal 30% more damage to the head. I'm using Catalyst as always, so when I drop them, I'm gonna take my Blitz Tonic and start hitting. Okay. How come that didn't hit? There we go. So I'm using pulse right here. Make sure to time your pulse. Oops, I just said make sure to time your pulse. And there's one additional kit right there. The boom. Stagger, please. There we go. I forgot to use the Tempest Form. Well, uh, whatever, I guess. It's that. Anyways. And as you can see, that's the build. It's 5 level difference, was it? And as you can see, this build is really good. I'm using Titan's Crash right here because it's the head that we are talking about. It's going to deal more stagger damage, and Titan's Crash can deal stagger damage. If you really want to use Adamant Bolt, that's fine. I'm going to change this build into Adamant Bolt to suit your taste. And I'm going to show you the build real quick while I'm at it. So here's the build. Aether Evasion comes with a weapon. So just make it to plus 6 because it's really good. And that is why I brought Panga Shrine with me. Because I can deal DPS and I can slow the Behemoth at some point. Catalyst for your source of attack speed and everything else that you want. Cunning, Pulse and Discipline for your critical strike chance and damage. Predator and Berserker for your extra damage. So here's the build, Trot's Helmet, Trot's Body, Makarion's Arms, Chronovore's Legs, here's the Lantern, and here's the Weapon. So I'm going to change this one into Adam on board real quick. Cyclonic Strike Plate, and as you can see, this one is the Thunder Deep Thrust Bond. So I'm going to try not gonna be on you again, Ganesha. So let's try this build out on this Nazaga right here. It's level 15, just like the previous Ganesha. One thing I don't really like from the Adamant Ball is you have that little channel time before you actually cast the ultimate. The special skill I mean. Okay, it's gonna rush. Let's just wait. Alright, let's do the right clicks first. Okay, boom. 4k. Ouch. Okay, let's drop him down. There we go. Right when the Karma Breaker is out. That's too bad. Five K. One more hit, and let's try this pulse laser. And as you can see, this ability is pretty good. It deals five K damage, not on the head just now. If it's on the head, you get thirty percent more damage. If you count that out, I think you'll get around six K to seven K. And as you can see, Adam Ball is still pretty good. And you see that little charge time right there before you cast the special. That's what I don't like. Oh, and Nizaga spawns right there. How can I change it back to Titan's Crash? Well, whatever. So, since I used Titan's Crash just now on Ganesha, I'm going to try this Adam and Bolt on Ganesha as well. So, it's up to you to see which one is better, which one suits your playstyle the most. I'm going to show both to you. On the same behemoth. Blitz tonic. Oops, why did I do that?
I missed. I missed again. Ouch. Alright, this is getting annoying. This is getting annoying. This is really getting annoying. Kaboom. Come on. All right. How did that one even hit me? Oh my god, this one really moves a lot. I think the difference really lies in how well I play when I'm using the Titan's Crest and how bad I play when I'm using the Adamant Ball on this very same behemoth. Well, just as you can see, both deals high damage. The only difference lies in how you play it. So Adam and Bulk deals, deals a single burst of damage with, which deals more damage than the Titus Crash but as you can see it has a little channel on it so you won't be as quick as the Titan's Crash to cast the ultimate but still both is good but if you ask me I prefer the Titan's Crash because first it's the hat second you can cast it faster than the Adam and Bulk that's all for the video I hope you guys enjoyed Please don't forget to like and subscribe, it's free and you can always subscribe. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.